Hi, this is Mr. Williamson, and this is Worm Prep Quiz Number Two. Um, this is to prepare you for the upcoming worm test for the dissection. Uh, I would recommend you need a piece of paper so you can write your answers down. I'm going to wait a little while between questions, but remember, on the test you have a reasonable amount of time to answer it. It's not timed, but it is oral. So write your answers down. Spelling in this case doesn't count because it is an oral test. You just have to be able to pronounce it or come very close to it. So as long as you can answer the questions, you should be okay. Okay, you're ready to start. Here we go. The first question is, what are these five dark bands right here? And they're underneath there, they would be the dark bands. What are they and what do they do? Remember, you have the option of pausing the video if you need to think about it for a moment. Um, and and uh, start back up when you, when you think you have it. Okay, next question. What is this large organ here? It's a long one. It goes all the way down the whole length of the worm um, and uh, comes out at the very end. What is it and what does it do? Again, write your answer down. Take your time. Um, see if you can, uh, can, can come the right answer. Take a moment. Okay. Next question. What is this little triangular organ right here? They would also be found in this area or the long the intestine right there uh, between the, the septa. What is it and what does it do? Again, take your time if you need to. Pause the video. Okay, next question. What is this large organ here? It's the fuzzy one there. Uh, it looks fuzzy. It's not really fuzzy, but what is it and what does it do? Again, take your time, think about it, and uh, write your answer down. Okay, pause the video if you need to, and pause, start it back up when you need one when you're ready. Okay, next question. What are these two little round balls right here? There's another two of them over on this side of the worm, although you don't see it in this, this uh, picture. There's two of them there, so they're a matched pair. What are they and what do they do? Again, pause the video if you need to. Continue it when you're ready. All right, what is this large creamy colored organ? Comes down around here, and there's also part of it here and part of it here. Uh, any one of them are, they're all the same, they all do the same thing. So the question is, what are they and what do they do? Okay, all right, moving to the next question. What are these little lines? There's every single line between each one of the segments. Um, what are those, and uh, what are they called, and what do they do? Again, pause the video if you need to. Um, start it back up when you're ready. Write your answer down. Try to come as close as you can to the spelling, but again, spelling does not count on the test. I believe that's the last question, so take your time. Okay. Let's take a look at the answers. The first one I asked about <clears throat> were the hearts. Five little bands that you can find underneath these organs or mixed in with those organs. And they basically are responsible for pumping the blood through the circulatory system. So the question of the hearts and the, pumps the blood. The intestine, the large organ in the back back here, um, is responsible. It's where the nutrients are absorbed. It comes out of the uh, food comes through the crop and then through the gizzard is ground up there and it starts in the intestine goes down this way and it goes all the way out towards the anus but it's where the site of nutrient absorption so. the nephridia are the little triangular organs here but you can find them all along the whole worm between the nephrid between the septa excuse me and along the intestine 
and they act as a kidney. They filter out the waste product from the worm, the cellular waste product, and secrete it as nitrogenous waste outside the worm. Again, that's why uh, worms are really good for your garden because they just deposit nitrogen into the soil the plants use for growth. The next organ is the pharynx. It's the fuzzy, big fuzzy organ right here. And it's the main first organ, uh, first major organ of the digestive system. So the food comes into the mouth here, goes to the pharynx where it adds enzymes and no, no, uh, moisture, and it goes down the esophagus to the crop, which acts like your stomach, and then the gizzard here, and then down the intestine out the anus. But the pharynx in this case, this one here, the one I asked about is uh, the first major organ, and, and it uh, adds new, uh, enzymes and, and moisture to the, the food. The seminal receptacles, the two little balls run here and one here, are, um, and like I said, they're also found over here. They, they hold, receive and hold the sperm from the other worm. They, they, the receptacle, uh, means, receptacle means it holds things. So it's a seminal receptacle and it holds the sperm. Seminal physical is the organs that make the sperm in this case. Seminal physical makes the sperm, it's the male reproductive organs. And remember these are hermaphrodites, they're male and female, so when they uh, mate they not only give sperm but they also receive sperm. So but the sperm is made in the seminal vesicle. And then finally the septa are the lines that divide the individual segments of the worm. And you can see where I've already highlighted some of them. Um, and they're just the dividing uh, uh, dividers for the segments, and they also hold the organs in place as the worm moves around. So, um, and that concludes the, the quiz. Uh, if you have your own understanding, go with that, check your answers. If you had any problems, take a look at your study guides so you can figure out why you missed them and, and what the correct answers were. Well, I've already given you the correct answers, but what you why you missed them. Um, so make sure you look at your study guide. Uh, look at some of the other videos available to you. And if you have any other questions, be sure to ask me in class um, and, and get yourself ready for the test. I hope you're preparing. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you at the test.